Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Now I'm continuing the problems on electricity companies. Already I have uploaded the video on introduction to electricity company accounts and I have solved nearly nine short problems and two main problems on electricity company accounts. So hope my regular viewers have already watched those videos and got a command, got the grip on this topic of electricity company accounts. If you have not watched those earlier videos, you will not be able to understand properly. So I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject advanced corporate accounting and the topic electricity company accounts. Watch the first introduction part and starting problems. Definitely you can be able to understand what are the financial statements prepared by electricity companies, how to calculate the surplus and how to dispose the surplus according to the provisions of Electricity Companies Act. I have explained you in detail and starting short problems regarding capital base, reasonable return and preparing the revenue account, net revenue account, receipts and expenditure on capital account, general balance sheet, all these things I have done. So now I am continuing the third main problem on electricity accounts. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So keep the printout ready before watching the video. And apart from that, if you are new to my channel, I suggest you to visit the playlist of my channel. I have uploaded so many videos on financial accounting, advanced accounting, cost accounting, corporate accounting, managerial accounting, income tax, business statistics and financial management, investment management, so many videos I have uploaded. Select your subject, select the topic, watch the video, definitely you gain a lot of knowledge from these videos. Now I am starting the third problem. See the third problem. From the following particulars, draw a capital account and general balance sheet as on 31st March 2010 on double account system. I told you in the first video itself, electricity company is a public utility concern which followed double account system. The meaning of double account system means not one balance sheet but two balance sheets will be prepared. The first part of the balance sheet is called capital account or receipts and expenditure on capital account. The second part of the balance sheet is called general balance sheet. So in receipts and expenditure on capital account, we take only the fixed capital as receipts and capital expenditure as expenditure. So debit side will take the expenditure, credit side will take the receipts. <coughs> now authorized capital, actually authorized capital is only an information. It will not be recorded in the capital account. Her subscribed and issued capital, it will be taken. Now see the format, receipts and expenditure on capital account for the year ended 31st March 2010. Already in the previous video, I told you three columns debit side, three columns credit side. Expenditure, debit side will take the expenditure. The expenditure up to 1st April 2009, beginning of the year. Actually, we are closing the accounts on 31st March 2010. So year begins on 1st April 2009. So at the beginning of the year, how much is the expenditure on land and expenditure during the year, if any further expenditure is incurred during the year, that will be taken here. Then total expenditure, add up beginning of the year, during the year, add up, we'll get the total. Similarly, receipts. Receipts side, again, three columns are there. Receipts at the beginning of the year, 1st April 2009, receipts during the year and total receipts, right? The first item we have seen, subscribed capital. The receipt side by share capital 26 lakh at the beginning of the year. During the year, no shares were issued. So take the same 26 lakh in the total column. Second item 11% debenture 4 lakh. Debenture is also a fixed capital, fixed fund. So by 11% debenture 4 lakh at the beginning of the year, during the year, nil, same 4 lakh. So these are the two items which are taken on the credit side, receipt side. Trade creditors. Trade creditors will be taken on the liability side of the general balance sheet. This is the general balance sheet. Liability side will take trade creditors 1,60,000. Then reserves. Reserves 1,50,000. Liability side. Reserves 1,50,000. Next comes trade debtors. Trade debtors asset side general balance sheet. 
trade debtors asset side cash in hand and at bank 350000 asset side cash in hand and at bank 350000 next comes investments rupees 150000 asset side investments 150000 next comes stock 240000 asset side stock 240000 next comes expenditure expenditure to 31st march 2009 means last year last year closing balances are given so last year closing balance will become current year's opening balance so current year will begin from 1st april 2009 so whatever is there on 31st march 2009 the same will be taken on 1st april 2009 so what are the expenditure given land 120000 so here you can see the to debit side to land 120000 then shafting shafting is also one of the capital expenditure so to shafting 13 lakh 50000 machinery to machinery 4 lakh then to building 1 lakh 30000 so opening balances are given we have taken all the opening balances of assets right our additions during the year the expenditure during the year ended 31st march 2010 was 2 lakh 50000 on shafting so shafting we will take 2 lakh 50000 further expenditure incurred there is no additional expenditure on land so land 1 lakh 20000 remains same so this 1350 plus 250 16 lakh is the shafting next comes 1 lakh rupees on building additions during the year on building 1 lakh so 1 lakh rupees on building so 1 lakh 30 plus 1 lakh 2 lakh 30000 right and a renewal fund a building renewal fund of 2 lakh 50000 uh, has been created building revaluation that means it is not purchased building is not purchased but revalued by creating a renewal fund by creating a renewal fund so entry for this is building account debtor to renewal fund building account debtor to renewal fund so renewal fund will be taken on the liability side 2 lakh 50000 and this 2 lakh 50000 will be added to building So building uh, machinery, sorry. So machinery two lakh fifty thousand. Machinery two lakh fifty thousand. So machinery is revalued, not building. Machinery is revalued. So two lakh fifty thousand we add up six lakh fifty thousand. So double effect is there. The uh, building is purchased, so cash is going out. So we have paid the cash, we have debited building account. Similarly, shafting, we have paid the sh paid for shafting, so debited shafting created cash. but regarding machinery it is not purchased it is revalued by making renewal fund so entry will be machinery account debtor to renewal fund so machinery is debited renewal fund is credited so renewal fund we have taken 2 lakh 50000 machinery 2 lakh 50000 so 6 lakh 50000 that's all the balancing item of 1 lakh 60000 may be taken as profit of the company the profit of the company will be transferred to net revenue account we won't call it as profit and loss account we call it as net revenue account so 1 lakh 60000 will balance in net revenue account 1 lakh 60000 all the items given in the problem i have explained you each and every item now we'll find out the total expenditure side expenditure side beginning of the year 20 lakh During the year added six lakh, end of the year twenty six lakh rupees the total expenditure. Now receipt side, beginning of the year thirty lakh, no additions during the year thirty lakh at the end. In other words, we can say total receipts thirty lakh, total expenditure twenty six lakh. If you for if you find the balance thirty lakh minus twenty six lakh four lakh rupees is the balance in capital account. That's it. This is the receipts and expenditure on capital account. Now we'll make the general balance sheet. General balance sheet. We'll take the capital account on both the sides, asset side as well as liabilities. Liability side, capital account. Asset side, capital account. Liabilities. We'll take the receipts, and asset side will take the expenditure. How much is the receipts total here? Thirty lakh. This thirty lakh will be taken on the liability side. Receipts thirty lakh. and the expenditure total 26 lakh this 26 lakh will be shown on the asset side 26 don't show this 4 lakh rupees it's only an information balance in capital account this will not be taken in general balance sheet only the totals are taken total expenditure and total receipts 
remaining all other items just now i have read while reading out the problem trade creditors renewal fund reserves balance in net revenue account and asset side cash in hand arab bank trade data stock investment your balance sheet is stunning 37 lakh 20 thousand that's all so this is the end of problem number three now i'm reading out problem number four from the following particulars for the year ended 31st december 2004 prepare under the double account system the receipts and expenditure on capital account and general balance sheet of an electric supply company so here trial balance is given and from this trial balance we are required to prepare the balance sheet right now first of all authorized capital 10,000 equity share of 1,000 each 1 crore not at all considered it's an information it's a part of financial statement but it will not be recorded in the balance sheet in the balance sheet we need issued and subscribed capital now next issued subscribed and paid up capital 6000 equity shares of rupees 1000 each rupees 800 per share paid up 48 lakh actually 10,000 shares is the authorized capital but the company has issued and public has subscribed 6,000 shares the face value of each share is 1,000 but the company has called up only 800 so 6,000 into 800 48 lakh rupees is the paid up capital so here you can see receipts and expenditure on capital account for the year ended 31st December 2004 Re expenditure receipts the receipt side by equity share capital 48 lakh rupees given in the problem beginning of the year 48 lakh no receipts during the year during the year no shares were issued so whatever share capital we have in the beginning the same share capital at the end of the year 48 lakh. next comes 6 percent debenture 14 lakh again debenture is a part of fixed capital so 6 percent debenture 14 lakh at the beginning of the year, no debentures issued during the year 14 lakh next item depreciation fund 5 lakh depreciation will not be deducted from the assets depreciation fund will be separately shown on the liability side of the general balance sheet this is the general balance sheet as on 31st liability side you can say depreciation fund 5 lakh so depreciation always will be shown separately fund building 12 lakh building is a fixed asset then expenditure side building 12 lakh no purchase during the year for any of the asset in this problem we are not given any additions of fixed expenditure any purchase of fixed expenditure is not there whatever beginning is there the same is at the end of the year so building 12 lakh i have taken 12 lakh building next comes freehold land 9 lakh freehold land 9 lakh then comes plant and machinery 23 lakh 35000 plant and machinery 23 lakh 35000 next comes mains main is also one of the fixed asset the so mains 4 lakh 60 thousand in both the columns then sundry machine parts this is also treated as a fixed expenditure capital expenditure so sundry machine parts 50 thousand next comes instruments and appliances that is also a fixed asset 64 thousand instruments and appliances 64 thousand stock and general stores 376000 stock and general stores 376000 office furniture 30000 office furniture 30000 next page fuel fuel 45000 sundry machine room material 10000 lubricants jute waste etc this will be considered as store item stock item the stock item is not a fixed asset it is the current asset it's the circulating asset so this fuel sundry machine room material this will be taken as stores item or stock so it will be taken on the asset side of the general balance sheet this is the asset side of the general balance sheet you can see fuel lubricant jute etc in stock 55,000 how 55,000 45,000 fuel and 10,000 rupees sundry material so 45 plus 10 55,000 is the total then sundry creditors general balance sheet liability side sundry creditors 170000 sundry debtors general balance sheet asset side sundry debtors 350000 investments asset side investments 9 lakh 
नेक्स्ट कम कैश इन हैंड एंड बैंक तो कैश इन हैंड एंड बैंक असेट साइड सेवन लाख नाइनटी थाउजेंड बैलेंस ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम नेट रेवेन्यू अकाउंट सिक्स लाख एटी थाउजेंड बैलेंस ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम नेट रेवेन्यू अकाउंट द बैलेंस इन नेट रेवेन्यू अकाउंट विल बी टेकन ऑन द लाइबिलिटी साइड ऑफ द जनरल बैलेंस शीट नेट रेवेन्यू अकाउंट सिक्स लाख एटी थाउजेंड देन लास्ट वन मीटर मीटर इज अ फिक्स असेट मीटर इज अ फिक्स असेट सो हियर मीटर फोर्टी थाउजेंड हैव टेकन so all the items in the trial balance i have taken nothing is left after taking all these things we'll find out the total of the receipts and total of the expenditure the expenditure total 54 lakh 55000 beginning of the year no additions during the year 54 lakh 55000 end of the year receipts side beginning of the year 62 lakh end of the year 62 lakh no additions no issue during the year we need the total total of the uh, receipts will be taken on the liability side on the liability side capital account receipts 62 lakh from this i have taken it now total of expenditure 54 lakh 55000 that will be taken here 54 lakh 55 now remaining items just now i have taken sundry kratas net revenue account balance depreciation fund similarly fuel lubricant jute etc and stock sundry datas investment cash in hand your balance sheet is tallied 75 lakh 50000 and the balance in capital account is 7 lakh 45000 62 lakh minus 54 lakh 55000 7 lakh 45000 is the balance in capital account that's only an information so we have completed fourth problem we'll continue this come on now i'm starting the next problem problem number 5 see the fifth problem The following balances are extracted from the books of Messrs. Flash Light Electric Company Limited. Fixed assets, then expenditure. Last line, first of all, you see, you are instructed to prepare capital account and general balance sheet as on the same date under double account system. So in this problem also, just like the previous problem, we have to prepare capital account. Capital account means receipts and expenditure on capital account. and secondly general balance sheet under double account system so under double account system there are two parts of the balance sheet the first part is capital account second part is general balance sheet the capital account consists of fixed capital and fixed expenditure fixed capital expenditure so capital will take it on the receipt side and expenditure capital expenditure will take it on the debit side expenditure now see the from, from beginning you see fixed assets expenditure up to uh, 1st january 2004 actually we are preparing the uh, this balance sheet on 31st december 2004 31 december 2004 the beginning of the year 1st january 2004 land and building 10 lakh machinery 15 lakh first item so first of all you make the format of this capital account so what is the format receipts and expenditure on capital account for the year ended 31st march 2004 the debit side expenditure expenditure up to 1st january 2004 because we are closing the accounts on 31st december so expenditure up to beginning of the year expenditure during the year total expenditure similarly receipts receipts up to 1st january 2004 receipts during the year total receipts this is the format and general balance sheet as on 31st december 2004 liability side asset side right So we'll take the capital account. Total of capital account on receipts side will take it on liabilities. Expenditure total will take it on the assets side. That is the procedure. Now fixed assets. Fixed assets will be taken on the debit side of capital account. So to land and building, to machinery. So opening beginning it is given land and building ten lakh. So I have taken ten lakh. And machinery fifteen lakh. So opening machinery fifteen lakh. first item we have taken second additions during the year machinery 3 lakh 50000 during the year new machinery was purchased for rupees 3 lakh 50000 3 lakh 50000 so total machinery at the end of the year 18 lakh 50000 there is no land and building purchased during the year so beginning and ending remain same so two items take the total total expenditure is 28 lakh 50000 Additions during the year three lakh fifty thousand. Beginning of the year total fixed assets are twenty five lakh. So twenty five plus three fifty twenty eight lakh fifty thousand. Next item, depreciation fund. I told you in the previous video also. 
depreciation fund will not be deducted from assets. The depreciation fund, accumulated depreciation will be shown on the liability side of the general balance sheet. This is the general balance sheet. Liability side, depreciation for machinery and building. Next comes authorized capital. Actually, authorized capital is only information. It will be written in the schedules, notes, but not in the capital account. Then issued and fully paid up capital. 20,000 equity share of 100 each issued capital, including 2,500 equity shares issued during the year. The so end of the year issued capital was 20,000 shares. Out of 20,000 shares, 2,500 shares are issued during the year. So how many shares are there in the beginning of the year? 20,000 minus 2,500. 17,500 shares were there at the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year. So 17,500 into 100 rupees per share. So 17,500 into 100, 17,50,000. 17,50,000 is the share capital at the beginning of the year. And during the year, 2,500 shares are issued of rupees 100 each. So 2,500 into 100, you will get 2,50,000. 2,50,000. So during the year, 2,50,000 shares were issued. So total 17,50,000 plus 2,50,000, 20,000,000 rupees the share capital. Next comes 7.5% debentures rupees 10 lakhs secured by charge on fixed assets. So 7.5% debentures again it will be taken on the receipt side. 7% debentures 10 lakh beginning of the year. No debentures issued during the year. Total 10 lakh. Over. All the items we have taken in capital account. Take the total of the receipts. Receipts beginning of the year 27,50,000. During the year 2,50,000. Add up both will get 30 lakh. One account we have completed, capital account. So, receipts expenditure is 28,50,000. Whereas, receipt is 30 lakh. So, what is the difference? 30 lakh minus 28,50,000. 1 lakh 50,000 is the balance in capital account. So, here simply for our information, balance in capital account 1 lakh 50,000. That's it. This account is over. Now, total of expenditure will be shown on the asset side. What is the total of expenditure? 28,50,000. This will be taken here. 28,50,000 expenditure. Similarly, total of receipts, 30 lakh. This 30 lakh will be taken on the liability side. Receipts, 30 lakh. That's all. Now, remaining all other items, we will take it in general balance sheet. Now, you have to decide which item will come on liability side. Which item will come on asset side? Sundry creditors 250000 liabilities. Sundry creditors 250000 Next comes reserve fund 5 lakh. Reserve fund again liability side. Reserve fund 5 lakh. Next comes reserve fund investment. Reserve fund is a liability. Reserve fund investment is an asset. So reserve fund investment 5 lakh. And in bracket MV market value, market value 5 lakh 25,000. It is only an information. That's why in bracket I have written in the side, not in the column. Next one is stock till 3 lakh 2,500. The so stock is an asset. Stock will come here 3 lakh 2,500. Then sundry debtors 4 lakh 50,000 asset side. Sundry debtors 4 lakh 50,000. Cash at bank 2 lakh. Cash at bank 2 lakh. Cash in hand 50,000. Cash in hand 50,000. Last item profit and loss account credit balance 2 lakh 2,500. Now profit and loss account we change the name into net revenue account. In the problem it is given profit and loss account balance. Now we call it as net revenue account balance. That will be shown on the liability side. Net revenue account balance 2 lakh 2,500. All the items whatever is given in the problem we have taken in the financial statements final accounts balance sheet so balance sheet will get tied 43 lakh 52 500 both the side 43 lakh 52 500 so this is the end of problem number five come on now we'll start the sixth problem see carefully 
I'm reading out the sixth problem. From the following balances as on 31st December 2000, appearing in the ledger of Electric Light and Power Company Limited, you are required to prepare a revenue account, net revenue account, capital account, and a general balance sheet. That means all the four parts of the financial statement we have to make. The first revenue account, net revenue account. Equity shares, equity share will go to capital account. Then debentures, it will go to capital account. Land on 31st December 1999. Actually, our year ends on 31st December 2000. Here, land value is given on 31st December 1999. Means last year's closing, current year's opening. Then land purchased during the year 2000. Machinery on 31st December 1999. 60,000. Last year's closing, current year opening. Machinery purchased during the year 500. Mains including cost of laying. The main is also one of the part of fixed asset. It will go to capital account. And spent on mains during the year. Sundry creditors. It will go to general balance sheet liability side. Next item. Depreciation fund. It will go to liability side general balance sheet. Sundry debtors for current supplied. Sundry debtor general balance sheet asset side. Other debtors. Again, balance sheet, asset side. Stores on hand, asset, general balance sheet. Then cash, general balance sheet, asset side. Cost of generating electricity. This we will take it in revenue account. So see carefully here. Revenue account of electric power and supply company limited for the year ended 34. This is the heading. Debit side will take expenditure. And credit side will take income. It's a revenue account. It's a nominal account. All incomes credited, expenditure debited. The cost of generating electricity, it's an expenditure. Here I have taken cost of generating electricity, 3000. Cost of distributing electricity. Here I have taken cost of distributing electricity. Then rent rates and taxes, debit side, rent rates and taxes. Management expenses, debit side, 1200. Then depreciation, debit side, 2000. Then sale of current. The sale of current is an income. So it will be taken on the credit side by sale of electricity, 13,200. Then rent of meters, it's an income. Rent of meters, credit side. Then interest on debenture, it will not be taken in revenue account. It will be taken in net revenue account. I have already explained you in detail in the first video on introduction and also in the short questions I have explained you. That interest on debenture, interest on loan, interim dividend paid or only dividend paid. This will be taken in net revenue account, not in the revenue account. So interest on debentures and dividend will be taken in net revenue. Balance of net revenue account on 31st December 1999. So last year closing balance, current year opening balance. So this is the opening balance in net revenue account. In net revenue account, we will take balance brought forward from last year 2850 so i have explained you the complete problem where items will go right so first of all debit side we have taken cost of generating electricity cost of distributing electricity rent rates and taxes management expenses depreciation and credit side sale of electricity or current and rent of meters now take the total of the credit side 13500 13,500. From 13,500, deduct all debit items. The balancing figure is 6,300. The 6,300 is the profit before appropriations. Before appropriations, the profit is 6,300. And it will be transferred to net revenue account. Transferred to net revenue account. The balance of revenue account goes to net revenue account. So in net revenue account credit side, by revenue account, current year's revenue, how much? 6,300. And last year brought forward, brought forward revenue account balance is 2,850. So total 9,850 is the total. Out of this total, we have to make the appropriations. Payment of debenture interest 1,000, interim dividend paid 2,000. Now deduct. 9,150 minus 1,000 minus 2,000. You will get 6,150. This is the balance after appropriation. This is the profit after appropriation. So net revenue account balance after appropriation, it will go to liability side of general balance sheet. So this 6150 should be taken on the 
liability side of general balance sheet. So these two accounts are completed, revenue account and net revenue account. Now we'll come to the capital account. Receipts and expenditure. Receipts and expenditure on capital account for the year ended 31st December 2000. Debit side, expenditure, beginning of the year, during the year total. And right side, credit side, receipts, beginning of the year, during the year total. Just now I have seen starting first item was starting first item was equity shares 54,900 for so buy equity share capital 54,900 no issue during the year whatever is given that is coming from the last year so 54,900 second one is debentures debentures 20,000 so debentures 20,000 only two items are there on receipt side that is share capital and debentures total I have taken 74,900 right next item is land on 31st December 1999 last year so here I have taken to land to machinery to mains these are the three fixed assets the land beginning of the year 15,000 and land purchase during the year 500 given the purchase during the year 500 15,000 plus 500 15,500 then machinery on 31st December 1999 beginning of the year machinery 60,000 given year then machinery purchased during the year 500 to so purchase 500 60,000 500 mains mains including cost of laying on 31st December 1999 last year to so current year opening 20,000 20,000 and mains spent spent on mains during the year 5,100 5,100 spent to so 25,100 now take the total 95,000 total first column purchase during the year spent 6,100 total 1 lakh 1,100 over capital account completed now total of expenditure is 1 lakh 1,100 whereas total of receipt is 74,900 so what is the balance 1 lakh 1,100 minus 74,900 you will get 26,200 this is the balance in capital account this is all the inner information now we'll come to the general balance sheet as on 31st December 2000. So first of all, capital account. Capital account will take on liability side as well as asset side. On liability side, we take the receipts. How much is the receipts total here? 74,900. This 74,900 will take it on the liability side. Expenditure. Expenditure 1 lakh 1,100. This total expenditure will be shown on the asset side. Expenditure one lakh one thousand one hundred. So we have taken now sundry creditors. It is given sundry creditors one hundred. I have taken sundry creditors one hundred here. Right. Next item. The next item is depreciation fund. Depreciation fund will be taken on the liability side. Here you can see depreciation fund twenty five thousand. Sundry debtors for current supplied. Sundry debtor is an asset. So sundry debtor for current supply is four thousand. Other debtors. Apart from that, other debtors are also there. So other debtors 50. Then stores on hand. This is the stock. So stores on hand is nothing but stock. Then cash 300. Cash balance. Cash in hand 300. That's all. We have taken all the items. Now net revenue account. Net revenue account balance 6150. This 6150 should be taken on the liability side of the general balance sheet. So all the items I have taken. Capital. Receipts, capital account, expenditure, sundry creditors, depreciation fund, net revenue account balance. Here, debtors for supply of electricity, other debtors, stock, cash in hand. Balance sheet tallied, 1,6150. So totally, six problems, main problems I have completed on this electricity company financial statements. Preparing revenue account, net revenue account, capital account and general balance sheet. So after watching this video, definitely you will get a lot of confidence on solving the problems of electricity companies. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share it in your groups, in your friend circle, so that more students can watch these videos and gain the knowledge. Give your comment on these lectures and finally, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. We'll continue the next problem in the next video.